in English. Welcome. Thank you very much. Very nice to be back at the party center of Budapest. Yes. Uh, the broadcast of Santo Luigino, St. Louis. Thank you. Listen, it's night over here and I'm tired, but because you tried to prepare me for this interview, I decided we're just going to do it and improvise and see what happens. So up front, I apologize for any obscenities that Luigino might say. And... Um, and we will try to keep, uh, keep the rating at PG. First lesson, you need to take responsibility of your reaction, you know? <laughs> I, already the guy is getting psychological with me. Come on, Luigi, I just got home from a full day of work. Huh? But listen, I'm ready for anything you give me, man. Here we go. Okay, it means that <clears throat> this Monday wisdom, okay, this, um, in this situation, in this uh, program, you are totally ready, you know? You feel that you are prepared. Any kind of obstacle, you're ready to, yes, to jump over the obstacle in this moment, no? Listen, I'm waiting for you to give me the obstacles and I'm going to jump yeah. over whatever you give me and I'm going to clear it by the world record if I have to, just to get my way. Great. I like your willpower. Thank you. Congratulations. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. No, <laughs> Well, Allora, come on, man. What are, what are we talking about? Let's talk about mastery, you know? You know, I, I'm a big lover of uh, Robert Greene. You're a big lover, punto. You're a big lover, punto. You don't yes. need to continue this sentence, Luigino. Yes. You've just said everything you wanted to say in two seconds. Uh. Yes, Lo love is important, no? Because love means uh, balance, <clears throat> equilibrium, you know, it's something that uh, we need to be, you know, uh, feel and give, no? Feeling and give. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Yeah. Look, life is about love. Love is the currency of life, the currency which measure, measures your success. The more love you have, the more happy and successful you are in life, I suppose. It means every day uh, what you do, you are in love in what you do and uh, in love with the people around you. Love, uh, you know, is love is... Uh, uh, rompe la connessione. Ci sei? Repeat what you said, Regina. I, that uh, you live every day with full love, full love. We attempt to live every day with full love. And that is, the, that is the objective of what we try to do. And sometimes it's easy, sometimes it's not. But I think that the last thing we did was the, the, the bus of life, I think we called it. Mm -hmm. yes. um, this is the way to get through life and through the obstacles of life. But to actually live life is not just getting through obstacles. It's actually experiencing love. Uh -huh. And I think the right emotion for experiencing uh, life is love. So cool, cool. Means that uh, yes, in, in, in every our action, we need to put this kind of DNA, you know, the caring and sharing and uh, be in harmony with the others. No, I think that this is something that is inertly inside us, and this is something that we actually forget, especially when we start to become selfish and look at ourselves as individuals rather than as part of a collective. And this is, uh, this is something that you were talking about last time we talked, that being part of a collective for the greater good of the collective mm -hmm. is actually what makes people happy. And if you look at research in psychology and psychiatry, you very quickly come to the conclusion that the best way out of depression is to make other people happy. Mm -hmm. And this brings happiness to the person. So this is actually scientific fact, which is proven buying yourself a very expensive car or watch or something materialistic will in fact make you less happy than helping other people achieve their dreams and make you feel like a virtuous person. Mm -hmm. But first, you need to love yourself, no? You need to love others and you need to see that they love you and then you can love yourself the same way. So you just need to love without a definition or a direction. Mm -hmm. You need to love and then you can put that upon yourself or upon others, I think. Because if you try to direct love, then it starts to become a little bit, uh, I'm not going to say selfish, but it starts to become a little bit monotone, a little bit self-centered. Mm -hmm. So I think love is everywhere. And I think love needs to be spread everywhere and not put into only one direction. Mm -hmm. But uh, 
love and ego how how is the, this relation you know this uh, love and ego so the, the what are you, what are you trying to ask the love and the ego the ego is loving yourself is not necessarily being being an egoist or egotistical i think uh ego is uh, separate from love where ego is looking out for your own self interest or looking for ways mm -hmm. to admire yourself for something that you can or can't do mm -hmm. love is feeling an emotion towards not just yourself but towards everybody i don't know it's you, you kind of got me a little bit with this question because ego to me is not always positive i think it's necessary but it's not necessarily a positive thing mm -hmm. but then ego comes from confidence and confidence comes from something we must deserve mm -hmm. uh one concept of life which uh, i disagree with completely and this will be an interesting conversation to have with you is is self esteem i think mm -hmm. people who have self esteem are people who believe that they are special or they are good because they are i love you because mm -hmm. you are you you are great because you are you i don't believe in this i must tell you mm -hmm. i think that um it's it's uh, esteem is some kind of admiration for no given reason or it's an undeserved admiration mm -hmm. that you give to somebody and i think confidence is when you deserve admiration so if you studied for an exam you are confident you will do well in the exam mm -hmm. that's a deserved admiration if you practiced in a sport you are confident that you will win the match or you will win the game this is again something which had a certain amount of sacrifice and work to 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 have that confidence you deserve that you worked for it but esteem and self admiration just for the sake of existing i think is irresponsible from parents to give to their kids and it's also irresponsible for people to want to take it simply existing and breathing air does not make you great it makes you exist and existence is great but if you try to live your existence to the benefit of society yourself in forms of love then i think you're a successful person mm. alora i i thought i was tired and listen to these big answers wow bro yeah yeah okay. well, so i i can see that you are able to recover very fast from your day and uh, you become very a good master in this topic you know and you you feel this topic you every day luigino all you are seeing is a reflection of santo luigino himself which is a reflection of you um you make me confident i deserve my confidence because when i talk to you we always have a good time and then i'm inspired to basically come up with answers and the good thing is is when we are doing these interviews it's not something where i knew you what you will ask me or where you will lead the topic so my answers are reasonably authentic i think mm. you're li literally not interviewing me you're listening to me think out loud and you can see my brain is starting to come out of my head from the amount of thinking that you're making me do but hopefully we come up with some good information as well <laughs> but i i through you know through your eyes i can see that uh, how you extract you know the this kind of uh, information or you connecting the points and you can see in flow the you know they the, describe reality in uh, in your way Listen, i i like, know you're a saint but i didn't know you were a mind reader as well now i know no, you are I, everything no, but i's reader maybe yes <laughs> uh, look i'll take it as a compliment thank you very much you can obviously see the way that i derive information and um and i'm happy to come up with the answers i'm curious myself sometimes as to what i will say so um yeah. let's keep asking the question let's see what answers <laughs> come yeah. out of my mouth great mm. uh, let, let's go back to the main topic uh, that uh, was a good introduction now but let's go to the main topic that is a uh, master you know how uh, master yeah. our craft uh, how you, day by day uh let's say to go in the direction in the right direction with where we you know we feel that we can realize ourselves means that the first uh -huh. the first uh, the first element the first uh, let's say uh, step to go in this in direction to master your craft, your craft is to uh listen your call you know to understand who you are and listen your call in your life when happened that you listen that your call that this what you do now exactly is your mission your your vocation when happened 
so the, the 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 question is how do you listen to your call in life is that yes, is that what yes, you're exactly. breaking up a little bit Luigino sto yes. concentrando però sì yes, exactly and when happened to you when happened to you that you had your uh, you discover your way uh, look uh, i think that uh, there is no specific call or there is no specific the discovery that i can now recall yes i've had situations in my life where i've had to 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 perform or i've had to to find my calling or find my purpose or find my motivation but i think that the call of life is something which is constant and it might be evolving with the life mm-hmm. so uh, being put into certain situations the call to life and the call of life might be something to do with uh with uh, helping others or helping yourself achieve an objective or trying to 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 build something in your life so the call might be the moral obligation that you have towards maximizing the the possibility of achieving that goal and mm-hmm. the call in mm-hmm. life uh, for me is to i don't even know how to define that but something along the lines of 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 being virtuous of being ethical of being moral of of sharing my knowledge with my with my children with my family with my close ones and trying to build people who are better than what i am because uh modesty is a big big part of uh of uh of that calling i think and if you can be modest mm-hmm. then you can see your your deficiencies and you can really try to 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 find ways to to fill those gaps and 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 you can really find people in your life who help you fill those gaps means the big question is why you are here you are here yes why you are here in this in this reality in this life well what do you think why are you here luigi i think i'm i think i think that i i think personally i am here to it goes back to the very basic in- instincts of, of of animals i'm here to exist and i'm here to continue my existence and i'm here to reproduce and i'm here to pass on my existence to the greater universe Mm-hmm. to the spiritual world to the physical world at the moment i don't really know exactly where we go after we are gone but i don't think we disappear so i think that we are here to be a part of the collective and to contribute to that collective wow it means that also you feel that there is, there is something more than the, only the body uh, absolutely uh, this is 100% my belief yes yes the body is uh or the physical uh, world and life we live in is uh, is 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 a is a time and place in our existence which is mm-hmm. temporary but i certainly think that there is an existence before or after and i I'm, i'm not i don't know what it is uh, i don't think any of us know what it is um but i certainly would be disappointed if uh, if it all ends and i don't think it does because there is an entity and a consciousness within us which cannot Uh, even in the world of physics uh, everything has a certain existence everything you, every energy has a cannot you cannot dissipate energy means you feel that part uh, there is a part of your life there is a space of your life for spirituality aspetta there is a part yeah it's a... I give you again a this strong question I sent you this strong there is part of your life that is dedicated also for space for spirituality Absolutely absolutely I think it's a big and important part of your life yes yes spirituality is a connection to the collective spirituality is is moving away from the selfish uh thoughts and selfish uh ways of the corrupt physical world which we live in materialism and things like this in spirituality none of these things have meaning so spirituality is the true essence of of love of virtuousness of goodness so i think to be spiritual means to be moral but not just to be moral and look good for your neighbors and friends but to be actually moral towards a greater goal of existence to all humanity and universe It's cool. But you do you share sometimes this uh let's say topic uh, do you meet some friends you go deeper to talk about this topic? 
This is the first time in my life I hear myself talking about this. This is the first time in my life someone's asked me questions about this. And I'm not exactly sure how to word what I think, but I'm trying my best. I'm reasonably eloquent usually when I speak. So I hope that my message is getting through. But it's actually very interesting to have this conversation because it's new to me as well. So... um so I know I, I do not talk about this topic because these are some kind of internal beliefs about life and existence mm -hmm. that I have and, uh, and, and they drive me to continue to, mm -hmm. to, to hang on, I just had to refuse a call. They drive me to continue to, um, mm -hmm. to, 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 to live and to, 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 to be a part of whatever it is that we're a part of and to say to be a part of life, well, that's physical life. I think that things go on. Uh, after we stop to physically exist and uh, where they go, I don't know, but I'm sure that um, I will find out just like everybody else. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you think? How, how <clears throat> you can, let's say, uh, improve, you know, or you can create a more situation that you can feel better, not that you're part of the whole, no? because there is so a lot of distraction today in uh, in the today life how, how you think is um, you can you can facilitate to be more let's say connected uh, with consciousness and to feel the the wall and to go more deep in ourselves what you think in which way uh, look you have people and cultures and you have uh, cultural practices such as uh, uh, religion Mm -hmm. uh, meditation, mm -hmm. gong chi. Uh, there's a lot of different uh, different cultural uh, attempts to get in touch with this world. Um, in history, a lot of historical different attempts to get in touch with this world. I certainly believe that uh, we need to look within ourselves mm -hmm. in any way that uh, that we can. This might be meditation. This might be religion for some people. But I think that the way to connect is is to actually shut out what you said before, which is your ego and your thoughts and your own experience, and just basically try to be in the void of everything. And uh, listening and observing and witnessing thoughts and uh, things happening in your head, but not participating in them, mm -hmm. but actually being aware of them and being aware of yourself is a way for you to see your existence as a physical being in the spiritual world. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. You saw that uh, in the book, not in the uh, you out, I you out to win the game of life, the book that uh, I'm proud that you have one. Uh, one uh, I'm, I'm very proud to have it. I've, I've, I'm not displaying it because I've given it to my good, good friend of mine to read because I enjoyed it very much. And like I told you, Luigino, your book was a very big surprise to me in the way that it's laid out and in a very positive way is actually a lot better than the general book that I was expecting. So my congratulations to you once again. And which part for you was more interesting, more, <clears throat> let's say, different, more inspiring? The inspiring thing about your book is, first, the outlay of the book is something that I've never imagined before. Mm -hmm. And the way that you've done it with the QR codes and everything, I, thought, I think this is very cool and this is very modern and something which will, which will uh, translate to the future and to, to, to future generations. Even my son was watching me read that book and gone, what are you doing with your phone while you're reading a book <laughs> trying to scan QR codes and whatnot? But it sparked an interest, you know? And, uh, and then, then when I explained it to him, he's nine years old, he didn't understand half of the concepts in that book, but he was actually interested to find out why it is that I'm trying to research things and look at things the way that, that, that you make us do. So well done to that. The other thing which uh, fascinates me about your book is your philosophy of living to serve others mm -hmm. and the greater collective. This is something which I, I agree with uh, immensely. Uh, I think that we are animals which need to serve each other and ourselves mm -hmm. by serving each other and mm -hmm. by helping each other and by collectively living and having these conversations and having these uh, connections and having, you know, love and, uh, and respect for each other. That's good. Yes. It's, um, 
is a very important a very important element key elements that are our easy for sure and, uh, repeat the last question, please luigina yeah yes yeah, it's a very very i agree with you is a very important uh, uh, key elements uh, of our existence but about existence uh, i i know that now your uh, team is more big yes 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 my family is increased um i have two boys one 10 week old and one 10 year old which is a uh, which is a gift an unexpected very positive gift mm -hmm. and um little dorian mm -hmm. is 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 doing great and i must admit that um having a big gap between kids has certainly forced me to um into youth once again mm -hmm. so um all the things which I thought will never happen to me again are happening and uh, they're actually very interesting to relive and it's a very good indication for, 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 for defining experience because mm -hmm. 10 years later I realized how much more experienced and how much calmer and how much smarter we can be once we believe mm -hmm. in ourselves, once we do something once, doing it a second time is definitely much easier and there's a certain element of uh, confidence that comes with it and this confidence mm -hmm. you can only gain through experience so being brave to experience the world and to do things is the best advice i can give to anybody young go travel because that's not wasted money that's probably the best spent money you've ever spent in your entire life yeah, and welcome that, to covid where we can't travel <laughs> super congratulations to you for uh this new uh, increasing the the quality of the, your experience you know the i look i i, I the, the, this is the greatest thing uh, i think uh, yeah. people can do and this is something that people can relate to only if they've been through it and uh, i appreciate it and thank you very much absolutely okay daniel uh, thank you uh, for this monday wisdom I, 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 if you like we can repeat it several times because i Little ah, look, I'm more than happy to talk to you anytime you want. Huh? Yes, a little bit. Next time we can talk, we can talk about uh, the Star Wars uh, game uh, toys that are all around you. The Star Wars Lego, that's what it's all about, man. Yes, the <laughs> because we, we are, we are uh, stars of stars, you know. We, we are, yeah, yeah means that uh, we need to transform Star Wars in star love. Ay, caramba, this is, this is taking it now to, to another level, Luigino. But Santo Luigino, if you can make Star Love the movie, then I'm sure it's going to be rated R18+, plus only for adults, and I'm sure I'll be one of the first people to watch it. <laughs> yeah, yeah, good. Thank you so much, and uh, keep in touch for, for the future. Thank you for this good conversation. And uh, Luigino... Yes, this was completely improvised, but let's hope we did a good job. I appreciate it. I enjoyed it. And I wish you all the best. Thank you so much. Let me be useful and uh, see you soon. Ciao. Arrivederci, Luigino. Ciao, ciao. Thank you.